Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So you guys have asked me to do a combined arms video showing how to physically use as a human a JTAC vehicle to laze nighttime IR point and to smoke mark different targets for aircraft. So we're going to do that now. Uh, we've got me, I'm going to be a tactical commander and I'm going to drive the lazing vehicle. We're going to have Whistler and Tanky, you're going to take it in turns to drop down munitions or laser guarded depending on what we're going to be doing. Uh, the first question is which vehicles can do the marking slash lasing slash IR pointing? I mean I don't actually have a full answer. Everyone I ask seems to give me a dis different answer. The best answer I can find is that all vehicles can do it. To be safe I stick to what I know works which is I use an unarmed Humvee or an armed Humvee. I know that works or a NATO AAV7 that works but the truth is probably everything does work um, so you just have to go out and test that so I'm going to unpause I've got my tactical commander I'm going to go briefing okay so what we've got here is an airfield and it's got lots of units some blue some red it doesn't really matter and we've got my unit here which is going to be about 0.6 miles away and I'm going to occupy the vehicle like this. So to move the vehicle around, I've already done videos on this. So I'm just going to get myself into a nice visible position. Now the best way to do this, uh, whether it's lazing or smoke marking or whatever, is to really be at an elevated position. So an elevated position is optimal. But we can do it from level like this. It just gets a bit more awkward. What we're then going to do is press the Bravo key, which brings up our binoculars. And most of the vehicles have this option. Then I can use the mouse scroll to zoom out and zoom in and you're pretty much going to be, want to be zoomed in as much as possible. And if we look at the top right we've got our commands of what we can do. We can mark orange smoke, red smoke and green smoke. We can use an IR view so if we want to go IR then we've got this. It gets a little bit fuzzy but it's perfectly usable. And get rid of that. We've got our night vision goggles as ever. We can press the N key and we can change the, uh, the, the brightness and that. Turn it up and down if we want. We've got L, which turns our laser on and off. Um, so if we press L here, then we can see our laser is flashing. Uh, our 1688 laser, turn that off with L. R is our IR pointer, and you can see we're now IR marking. Turn that off. C, proceed to change laser code, and we can enter our laser, valid laser code and set, but we'll stick on the 1688 because that's what the boys have got. So this is the view that we get. You can see on the left, we've got 10 orange, two, 10 red, and 10 green smokes available. Elevation in feet is the elevation of the points that we are going to laze, and you'll see that when we're lazing. The heading is the current heading of our binoculars. I believe that's true heading. The range is the range of the point that we're going to be marking or lazing. You see our laser code there, and when it's flashing, that means the laser is shining. Our coordinates are the position that we're going to mark or laze in six digit north and east. And the bottom kind of crosshair in the middle is the actual point where we're going to be firing at. So the first thing we're going to do is use smoke. So tanky, I'm going to smoke a target with red and I'm going to smoke an ingress, a safe ingress by green. So that means you need to invest ingress by the green and drop bombs on the red target. Is that okay? Roger that. I'm just looking for a target now. Now one thing to note about smoking is that um, the crosshair, I've got to aim at the very base of the vehicle. So if I aimed it there at the turret, this actual smoke wouldn't be on that tank, it would be wherever my kind of crosshair intersects with the ground. So it's just something to bear in mind. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. But So I'm going to aim at the base of the vehicle as best I can there. I'm going to press 2 for red smoke. That's going to be the vehicle that I'm smoking. Now I'm going to give Tanky his ingress, which is going to be green, which is going to be, say, there. I'm going to put green there, 3. So now it's going to come in via green and bomb red. Okay, I just had a talk about the boys. The first smoke wasn't accurate enough, so I put a second one on um, uh, much closer. I'm going to zoom out now, press the F7 key, and you can see, ignore the first, ignore the far away smoke. That was just a crap. So can you ingress via green now and attack that middle red smoke, please, Tanky? Hate your that. That's time I uh, run in. Annoyingly, green's just disappeared, so I'll quickly pop it up again. Cool. Boom! Direct hit. Good job. Okay, so that was showing how to uh, hit him but didn't kill him. That's fine. That's how we can use smoke markers for doing different things. Or we could have, you know, greens on friendlies, reds on hostiles, orange on, I don't know, 
coalition or whatever and just remember those smokes only last for about 30 seconds to a minute or something like that so just bear in mind that right next uh, back in the cockpit f1 bravo let's get this up next we're going to laser a target um are you ready to to use a laser ammunition uh whistler uh, Maverick or Payboy, what should we like? Okay, we'll have a Maverick. Um, this time I'm going to get the cursor and I'm going to place it right on that target there. Let me know when you want me to laze Whistler on 1688. Go for it. Lazing now, cap lazing 1688. You see I'm flashing. Now, be careful here not to move the bounce around or do any external views or anything because it will cancel the laze. But you can see elevation 48 feet from sea level, I believe it is, range of 1253 meters from me and the heading. And now just got to sit and wait until uh, we get the muni munition. Positive lock. Rifle. Just. Did it miss, Whistler? Where is it? Still flying. Roger. About the shack of tank. Hey! Beautiful. Alright, well done. Get yourself in a position to drop a GBU and I'll laser uh, another one relatively near to it. So on Whistler's plane, um, he's got a laser spot search, so he doesn't even have to know where this is. He'll just point his aircraft nose in the rough direction and it'll pick up the laser, which is pretty cool. Uh, turn the laser off. Actually, well, the yeah, right. Maverick does that, not the GBU. Oh, the Maverick, Roger. Yeah, noted. Um, I just noticed that I can actually move around while I'm lasing, so I can change the cursor position while lasing. I just can't go external view. Right, uh, let me know when you want to la when the uh, laser. Go for it. Cap blazing uh, one six eight eight. Hey boy. Up here she's tracking something. Watch out. Oh, we hit him, but it didn't, it didn't explode. Oopsies, e fuse wasn't on. Let's try again. Watch out. Uh, laser off. I'm waiting for orders. Okay, go ahead. Cap blazing one six eight eight. Hey boy. Beautiful, that's more like it, Whistler. Right, lovely job, boys. Laser off. As to the question, can you overheat the laser? There is speculation that you can, but I have not managed to overheat a laser myself yet. And we've done some, we've done a lot of this, uh, so. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do next is go and do the IR pointing. So I'm gonna change it to night. If you get out the server, please, and I'll be back in a second. Hello, welcome back. So this time it's night time. We've got Tanky in a Hummer. Here and some targets he's going to mark there. We've got me and Whistler in a Hornet and an AV8B, and he's going to IR point these targets out to us. Now, notice we tried it um, on the flatland here, it didn't work very well, it glitched a bit, and it was hard to see the IR pointer. So, this time we've put him slightly up a hill um, where everything just seems to work better. Um, let me know when you're pointing, Tanky. Uh, marking targets now. Right, so I'm going to turn my um, goggles on. Try and find the rough area where he is and try and find the IR pointer. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, I'm looking down at the river. That is an IR pointer, all right. Okay, I'm running in. One thing to notice is how how would you know which end of the pointer it is? But, uh, hopefully we'll get the right end. Cap, you look like you're heading for him. Watch out. Heading to target from me is 275. Watch out. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Hope I don't hit you, Tanky. Too far now. How was that? See big explosion. Oh, I didn't kill any. Did they get anywhere near the target? No, you were about 30 metres to the north. Roger. Well, that was just my crap bombing, but I definitely went to the target. Um, do you want to go and do that properly, Whistler? Um, I can laze it if you want. Power, power. Yeah, can you laze it as well? Yeah, yeah lazy. Oh, right, so we're lazing as well. Right, I'm going to switch off and watch right in for it. No, in fact, I need my night vision. Right, you run in when you're ready, Whistler, for the laze. I was in my craters now. I wasn't that far away. Did we? Hey, but I'm away. Hey! 
you. Well done, boys. Right, great. So that was an example Good of night. That was an example of nighttime visual pointing and some crappy bombing, and then some light time visual pointing with laser and some accurate bombing. Well done, boys. Anything you want to add to that? No. Right. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that. It was useful, and we'll see you later.